Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of Tig Time. Hi, I'm Mr. Tig, and today we got a pretty neat project started. Uh, this, uh, this person contacted us at one of the welding shows and asked us if we could weld up uh, a drummer's cymbals. Well, I'm a drummer, and uh, I do repair of cymbals. This is something I've been doing for a couple of years. I have a, a series on YouTube. It's called The Cymbal Project. And I get asked a lot about TIG welding uh, bronze. It's a high tin bronze, typically uh, 20%, between 8 and 20% tin content. And a lot of people are interested in the concept of welding cymbals. Is this something that you feel could be done? And I got to tell you, in my lifetime, I have welded up a lot of cymbals, but I just, I haven't done it successfully. And what I mean by that is a drummer would bring a cymbal to me and I'd weld it. Um, and it welded fine, but uh, apparently what happens is it kills the sound when you weld. So uh, we have this thing called the, the Cymbal Project. And the Cymbal Project, uh, it's on YouTube. There's a guy by the name of Lance Campo. And he has sent us several cymbals, uh, sent us phase diagrams of the cymbals. Right now we have one that we're going to do, and I'm going to explain exactly what we're going to do differently because obviously welding, getting the temperature up way too high changes the grain structure. So melting temperature is not a good way to go. So we're not going to TIG weld and I'm going to use the term weld. What we will do is we'll do a couple of things. We'll do silver brazing, we'll do soft soldering, we'll do a couple of different techniques including silicon bronze. Uh, we're going to send each one of these back to Lance and he does something very special to them and dresses them up, but I think he retempers them. Uh, but again, I've never seen anybody do any work on these after I finish, so uh, I'm hoping for success. So I picked out one symbol here, and, and it is a bell bronze uh, material. It's 20 inches in diameter, and you can see it's got a crack, and it looks like it's about a three or four inch crack, and it's all the way through. So what we're going to do, the very first sample that we do, is we're going to use a, an Easy Flow 45 silver brace. The reason for that is because the melting temperature of these alloys is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Here's what we've got. In Bell Bronze, we got 80% copper, 20% tin. Well, the copper melts at 1,900 degrees approximately. It's in Fahrenheit. You know, but, the, but the tin, it melts at a much lower temperature, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got some crazy things going on. This, this flux that I put on and the silver that I use, it melts at about 1,100 degrees. So we're just going to try it uh, and send it to Lance and say, Lance, did this work? Did it not work? And then we'll move on to the next, next project. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prep this. I'm going to put just a little bitty tiny V-groove in there only to get rid of all the surface oxides and give the silver a place to go and stick. Uh, this flux, it's a white flux, and what you're going to see is it, it's, it looks like a white paste, and I'm going to run a neutral flame over it. I'm going to keep the flame moving because I don't want to heat this thing up too much. Apparently, that is absolutely killer for these, the sound on these. Now, I'm going to watch this flux go from a, a white and it's going to turn clear. It's going to look like a syrup. When it gets to the syrup look, then I'm going to dab a little bit of silver filler and it should go in and wet all the way through. I should be able to turn it over and, and see the silver. Okay, and at that point, uh, we're going to send it back to Lance and see what he can do with it. So let me get all my gear ready and, uh, and I'll get back with you in just a minute. Okay, so I don't, I don't need dark shades to do this. Three and a half, four work just fine. I'm, uh, I'm adjusting this flame to a neutral flame, and you can tell by the very fine tip right here that I adjust to. It's just got a cone to it. So that's a, a neutral flame. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to circle. I'm just going to, I don't want to put too much heat anywhere. But I want to do just a little bit of a preheat because eventually I got to get that one spot there at about 1100 degrees. And I don't want to be there very long. So I don't want it to be impacted just in one little spot. So uh, I'm kind of spreading the wealth here.
this will take just a few minutes, but what, uh, what you'll see is this flux will start bubbling and eventually it'll, uh, it'll go clear. It'll look like kind of a clear Cairo syrup. And again, I'm taking my time on this. Not, not creating any major hot spots. Okay, I'm going to start getting a little more isolated. You can see some of the heat changes taking place. I just don't want to stay in one spot too long. Okay, starting to get clear. See a little bit of contaminants in there. You'll see some of that black showing up. I'm just testing it here to see if it's hot enough. And it's not yet. It's getting close. Oh yeah, you can see it just it wants to, wants to start. Hey guys, this episode of Take Time is brought to you by Napotnik Welding Supplies. They're giving away this ESOB Rebel welding machine. For a chance to win this machine, join their email list by clicking this link. Now let's get back to welding. Okay, you can see it gets pretty hot. That, uh, that silver is trying to take, I got a, a little spot over here I got to catch, and then, and then we'll be done. Okay. Okay, now, I'm on the top side. I'm gonna take a look at the back side, see if it came through okay. Okay, it didn't come all the way through, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get that neutral flame again while it's still warm. And I'm going to come in the back side here just to make sure. It looked like it wetted pretty nice. But I just really want to make sure because I know Lance is going to do some work with this. Okay, now I finished brazing the outside of the symbol, I turned it over and kind of wetted the, the inside just because I didn't like the look of it. Uh, so I can see that it's got silver in there, it's wetted out very nicely. Again, I used a neutral flame. So I'm going to visual inspect this thing. You know, you can see the dark spots, you can see discoloration, but that will all go away. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for flat spots, distortion, things like that. So from this angle, it's kind of hard to tell anything changed. And that's, that's a good thing. So when I turn it over, I've got a few more contours to, uh, to look at and play with. And, you know, visually I can't see anything major. So uh, I'm going to turn this back over, you know, to Lance. Uh, he's got this project going on YouTube, so you can, you can see what he does to these symbols after I finish. Uh, anyway, it's called the Symbol Project. So uh, thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.